Hello everyone. This is Grandmaster Limle. Today I am doing two hours of band of this on chess 24. So those of you who are following, please challenge me anytime to show the like with this. I'll be happy to play with you all. So let's first start with um oh I see someone from Vietnam. That's where I am originally from. So I'm gonna accept from him. So Wow, it has a nice rating. Gi Kim. Okay, let's go. Actually, the name is a Vietnamese name, but he, the flag is not. Flag is from Norway. So, anyway, uh, let's see. So we are we are playing. Sicilian. Guessing he's gonna go for Can variation or Tamada variation. So time enough to date. Okay. Yeah. Let me just play something. Kind of a random move, A3. But it has some ideas in there. Okay, D6 defines kind of a waste of time. So I have my bishop there. This must be pretty good. For why? Let's just go back to A2. Uh, yeah, let's just go back to A2. Yeah, I don't know. He's wasting some time with this knight A5, knight C6. Doesn't make any sense to me. So, yeah, bishop E6 is the more natural move, I would say. So, I'm going to go. I'm going to go queen B3. And then maybe 95. I'm thinking about this move. Cannot be too bad. So, okay, that's also kind of a random move. Okay, so I'm going to go C4 or maybe D1. Let's go C4. And then, okay, let's go D1. Yeah, this move uh, very surprising to me. I have no idea what he's doing. So my plan is just to attack um, D6. So maybe I should play C5 at some point. But it's not so clear. Actually, he's playing pretty decent move. Kind of not human move, I would say. This move are a little bit unnatural for a human. Um, eh, unnatural. But I think I'm better here anyway. Uh, I'm threatening 97, threatening C5 maybe. So I can get a pawn or maybe let's go C5. So he's playing very fast though. I have to speed up a little bit. So his moves are very strange. I mean, I don't think anyone would play this move. Um, so, but I'm doing, I'm doing fine here. I'm doing fine. Uh, okay, so this is a good pin. I don't know what to do here. Looks like that's a really strong pin and I'm probably losing some material here. So he's playing very fast and some some strange move, but I wouldn't say completely computerized. Um, but I mean it is perhaps a little bit strange. Um, okay, I'm gonna go king. No, this is bad. So let's go back here. Yeah, the way he's playing is like he's taking very like very short amount of time for every move, and then in a few situations he's taking like right now he's taking a lot more time than usual, which is strange because this is not a particular complicated moment. Um, so anyway, obviously this is this is uh, winning for for black, but. Uh, he still has to prove that he's winning here. So, maybe four. 
OK, OK. This will be shot here. That's a bad move because of check and it's made. So, OK, good game, good game. We play extremely strong. But it's kind of not like a human player. Anyway, I'm going to try another game. Yeah, you did, you did pretty well, nice games. But uh, in the middle game, play really confusing move. But I needed to play faster. It's like, um, yeah, that was that was very, very bad game for me. OK, so let me try against um, a player from Argentina, in Espina, 2009. So I am black now. And let's go for this opening. I don't know what his name. Kind of depends on what he's gonna do on the next move. Okay, so I am having a space disadvantage, but my pieces are developing very quickly. Okay, Queen D. Oh, interesting move, double attacking my pieces. The queen d7 defends both. And yeah, normally queen, the early development of the queen to d4 is not a really good move. So I can try maybe my expert with the idea of nice with six and take on c3, take on e4. So I think white has to play f3 now. And then maybe I can go d5. So f3 is the only move I think Makes sense for white. Otherwise, white is losing a pawn at least. So f3, maybe c5, c5, queen back, d5, ed. Still not so easy. Okay. So what should I do here? Maybe knight c6 and then d5. Knight c6. Queen d3 or queen d2, then d5, ed95. Yeah, that looks better. So I have to create attacking chances immediately in the center. So let's go d5. If ed, I take 95. Oh, I forgot I supposed to play only premium members. Uh, I mean, I didn't notice that uh, some of the challenges were not from premium members. But anyway, uh, let me finish this game and I'll try to focus more when I choose my opponent. So, okay, I am up a pawn now and should be better for black. White has to play something like a3. Castle is also okay. I'm gonna castle. Now a3 is not a move because I can take on a3. So bishop g5 is better. Okay, so I don't want to take f3, so I'm gonna go rook b8. Okay, so looks like I have to take on C3. Yeah, looks like I have to take on C3, Queen C3, and then perhaps Rook E8 or something. Yeah, it is slightly better for Black, but not too much. I think it's still defendable for White. B6 
Bishop F6, Queen F6, Queen F6, DF, maybe Rook E1. Well, if it takes F E now, maybe I have Bishop Q4 and then I E4. So knight H3 is interesting move, but I don't think it's a good one. Why? Because I can take and then maybe go like Rook B5 or Queen E5. Let's go Queen E5. Um, not really like it. Let's go E3. And then maybe E2. Nah, that's not really what I want. Let's go Queen E5. So I think I'm no longer better because she can take, take Bishop E3. And then I have to go like Rook E8, Bishop F2. So let's have Rawish there. Rook E1. Um, yeah, actually, let's go 95. Try to get the tempo. Yeah, C4 was much better. C4 and what could have even could be winning there. C4, 96, Bishop F4, and takes C7. So yeah, I'm playing a very bad game here. But I'm actually not bad. I can get the H3 pawn. She got my C7 pawn. And then looks like my king has to run. But I can, I can try to get this pawn first. F4 is not a good move. Uh, it might be good, but I can take it. So why is main idea has to be b4, a4, b5? And my knight should be able to come back. So I think f4 was a mistake. Wonder, wonder maybe not. I don't know. So maybe let me just take the h2 pawn. Take the h2 pawn. And then go back, but this is very drawish. This is, I think, very drawish. Knight e three, b three is a good move. Oh, that is strange. Why well, should have played b three then? Kept the pawn. With this move now, black is up to pawn, and this should be. A technical win for black. Oh no, it's, it's gonna take some time. The main thing is that white cannot create a pass pawn on the queen, on the queen side, so I can just slowly improving my king side pawns. Like king g6, h5. Yeah, so you guys can see my Knight and my queen side pawns depend on the entry to the queen side. So the king is not gonna get anywhere close. So my, yeah, she can get b5, but then I'll just trade all the pawns there. And my king side pawns just start running. So this is gonna be a win for me. Okay, so I promote one of the two pawns. All right, good game, good game. It was a long game and was not so easy. I think White could have played a little bit better in the middle game and she was actually quite close to drawing in a few, at a few points. So this time I am White again and let's try D4. Okay. Let's go for the Sicilian again. Okay, let's go for this move. This should be two. Mm. 
Yeah, so all theories so far, this is the differential gain system, famous, famous opening choice during the Kapov Kasparov match. So Lap is playing pretty good move here. She's keeping everything very flexible and attack my center pawn with maybe next attack coming. So I got to do something about that. Maybe go pretty one. And maybe bishop f2, bishop h4. I'm not doing something terribly amazing here. Just some very natural move, I think. So rook b1, bishop h4, something like that. Black will put one rook on c8, the other rook on d8 or e8. I actually think the rook belongs to e8 rather than d8. The reason being that sometimes black can try e5 and open with the e5. So the rook belongs on e8. But uh, this is not bad, not bad. Maybe she's trying to play for d5. d5 is a decent way to play. So, so d5, I almost always want to play e5. So what will happen then? I don't know, probably e5, knight e4, bishop e7, queen e7, and then maybe knight d1 or knight e2. Let's take and go knight, I don't know, let's go to e2. d1 is also not bad. So let me go to d1. So I may want to put the knight on e3, closer to black screen. And why's main idea is to try f5 at some point. So let's put the knight there. Maybe I can try b4, c4. Um, so b4, knight is seven. Yeah, e5 is a very good move, excellent move. So black immediately stop white's idea from playing a b4. I should have played a5 myself, probably just to force black to play b5. But um, here, yeah, my opponents are on playing extremely well today. So it's really difficult to outplay them this way. So I'm gonna try to play slow chess, like maybe improve on the king side a little bit and see if I can gain some advantage there. So the good thing is that I'm not on time comparing to the first game where my opponent played like both strong and too fast. But this time I'm up on time, so it's, it's not too bad. Uh, it's gonna be harder for them to find the best move with the time to get down. So first question here, should I take on F6? Take, queen take, rook d1, queen take f or bishop g4, queen f6, that's not good. So let's not do that. Um, but if I don't take, I don't like my position so much. So let me take anyway. So queen takes, I have to go back knight e2 and try to get my knight to e5. That's the ideal square for the knight. If I can get my knight to g4 and e5, that's good. But it's, it's unclear here because maybe black has d4, d3. So d4, knight g4, queen back, I guess. And then knight e5. 
five. Should we go ninety e five or should I go to b one? Now the threat is the threat is, is d three, so I have to prevent that. Ninety five is the only good move. So ninety three, ninety three would be three. It's actually that is better here, but I'm not on time. That should be enough to defend this at least. So let's go 91, 83, trying to attack E4, and then back to E2. If B4 is only move. Good, she had the only move. That's good. So what should I do here? I'm actually worse here. That is very tough, but when you're up on time, you have to keep more pieces on the bar and try to flag your opponent. So let's go for this. Yeah, actually that move, bishop b7 was terrible. I should have played with one first. Uh, do we? Yeah, I think I'm still, I'm still better here, but the, Oh, we're having increments. Oh my God, I forgot we have increments. So it's not going to be able to flag her. Um, it's going to be tough. Not going to be able to flag her, but maybe, maybe she makes a mistake. So let's go to P7. Trying to get 96. Oh, 95. So let's go 96. Get that on. On G7. And then maybe go to B7. Uh, maybe F5. F5 is not bad. The idea X. Let's go F5. So I should go to B7 now and just take the B6 pawn. So let's take that pawn. I'm better now, but whether it can be worse, I'm not sure. So, okay, now F7 was a big mistake. She should have played like A4 or something, but now I have to screw the A to B7, winning the knight and the game. Well, I can actually check on H7. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. And then go back to G5 and check on H7. So it's, yeah, this is easy winning for, for white. My king is very safe here, so no worries. So, yeah, I'm gonna win this game. Let's go H5, I guess. Let's take, check. Okay, this is the win. Okay, good game. Yeah, you're playing way better than your rating. So, good job, good job. Okay, let me play another opponent. Chess, please. Okay, so now I am white again. Let's go for B3. Not a bad opening. Oh, G6 is nice. Um, sometimes I like this G4 nonsense. It's really just for bullet, but I like to try it in this anyway. So black cannot take on G4 immediately.
So it is really nothing much here. Kind of a very slow game, but with a weird thing for the two bishops that already got a strain. Okay, h5, interesting move. So he wants to close the king side. Okay, should I take? If I take, then rook takes and and it's not so great because then my h4 pawn is weak. So I'm just gonna prepare for long castle. Cannot be too bad here. Yeah? So black skin may be safe on the king side, but then it, it's kind of hard to, to come up with a plan because e5 is a very, very risky move because it weakens the f6 square. So he will almost never be able to play e5. So if I cast so long, then he may have some chance to attack me on the queen side with a5, a4. Or he can try x6, but uh, it's not easy to come up with any plan here for both sides. So I am thinking about my h3. Probably not a bad move. Okay, so e5, he actually played that move. But I thought that this structure is great for white because I take here and then I can put my knight on e4 and f6. And this, this has to be very, very good for white. Positionally, I mean, white is doing great here. So, okay, still not so easy. Let's go x3 and trade that bishop. So positionally, I'm still better. I'm gonna go rook c1 and b3, the knight back. Okay, I can go king f2. Problem is my, my rook is temporarily passive on h5, where I have to defend the h4 pawn. But if I get to play e4, I should be fine. Yeah, that is a mistake. He should have played e4 himself and stopped me from playing e4. Because now it's, it's very good for white, I think. OK, OK. I'm going to keep the a3 pawn. Actually, maybe not that good. Maybe not that good, but I have some tricks, like my e5 is a trick. And this one, I think it's not good because I guess my rook double on the g5 and this is very dangerous for black. Probably impossible to defend. So rook here, rook g7 is the only move. And then maybe I'll go a4. And then maybe I'll go knight b4. Just attacking that pawn. He can go rook e6, but that's probably not what he wants. So I have this one and get the six pawn. Knight has to go to e6, knight c6, take, and then maybe rook b5, take the e5 pawn. Um, take the h5 pawn. And check. Check here. Yeah. Rook, the strange. 
and go to this one. Being a four, which is five. So, okay, good game, good game. It was not easy game at all. So let me try another opponent. Angel Killer GMs. Oh, interesting. So, oh, I think I played him before. Looks, the account name looks familiar. So, I'm gonna try B3 again. Este, are you trying the Magnus style opening with the King X7? Huh, interesting. Maybe he's trying that because he has the Magnus picture. All right, so I'm gonna try this nonsense opening. Well, it's not that nonsense, it's really good to me. List. So Angel is doing great. He has space advantage against me. He is doing everything perfect. Playing very aggressively. Yeah, he's playing extremely aggressive. So let me try to get some kind of play before he crushed me. So probably he's gonna go like H4, G4, maybe H4 then. Let me try to get some play on the queen side before he can crush me. So let me go knight b3. Should I go knight b3 or should I go e4? Let's go knight b3. What about e4? Is that a move? Yeah, it's probably time to gain some space and not allowing him to get everything he wanted. So at least I play the queens. Um, not too bad here. Okay, good question here. Do I take the knight or do I take the bishop? Let's take the knight. So my bishop has some space to press. And maybe my knight can come to e4. So if I go knight c3, yeah, knight c3 seems like a good move. So I'm trying to get my knight to d4 or d5. Okay, he has this rook d8 idea. So maybe I should go king c1. And then maybe this is a good time to fix the pawn structure on the, on the king side with g4. So I'm, I'm guessing he's gonna play h4. And then I'm gonna trade this rook and then try to play this end game. It's very rubbish end game, but still some chances to play for the win. So if he trade, I take and then I get the knight or the bishop to d5. Knight d4 is a really good move. Because if I go knight e4, he can go knight e2 and win the rook. So, okay. Still knight e2 anyway. That's interesting. Okay, so I take. Now, this is very drawish. Very, very drawish. Probably no chance for both sides. Okay, let's go king c1, king e2. The angel is doing great. It may be even better, I don't know. Oh. So probably draw wish here. Let's go to the three. C4, I guess. 
Black girl can play B5 there. Should be a relatively easy draw. But here I'm gonna try. Here I have to try. Okay. So B5. Because now I have the better bishop. So So I can try here, but it's obvious that should not be enough. But all my pawns are on the dark squares, so it's relatively easy to defend them for me. Okay, mistake. And Go no, bishop f8, trying to get bishop g7, maybe. But then my bishop will be stuck over there, so I don't really like that. Oh, but that is a big mistake. You should have played. Yeah, king d7 was only move to prevent my king from going, getting to b7 and move this pawn. Okay, that's a nice trick. Yeah, Angel, you was really close to the draw. Good game, very good game. I was a little bit lucky in the end. So let me try another opponent. Okay, Franciscan. Let me try this opening again. Okay, this one. Uh, what is the theory? I have no idea. Maybe G5. H3, this move I never saw before. It seems like why this playing too calm was such a risky opening. Looks like I don't think he has enough compensation here. So I can I can try to play H6 just to defend G5 and slowly develop my pieces. Queen e2, that's another mistake because now I can take b4. Only question is how do I want to take a b4? Let me check with the knight. He has bishop f7, king f7, queen c4, but I think that is still better than black. Well, he said he saw that, that's good. We need six here. So black is still up a pawn and a better position. That's it. Queen takes f6 was a bad move. He should have played maybe queen b4 or something, keep the queens on the board. That would give him better chances. But here, yeah, here this should be should be bad for white. The reason being G e4 pawn is very weak and I can double my rooks, attack e4, eventually won that pawn. This is the nice way to double the rook. So I didn't want to play rook e7 because he could have played um he could have played 95 there. But he wants to, to play knight e5 anyway. So can I take on e4? So knight e4, knight c7, knight e2, knight e8, knight f1, king f1. What if I take rook e4? Rook e4, knight f6, rook e1. I mean, that should be winning, I think. The opposite color bishop endgame being three pawns up. No, sorry, only two. Only two pawns up. Should be winning, but we'll see. So knight f6, rook e1, knight f7, rook f1, king f1, king f7. Should be winning because I can create two pass pawns. So yeah, this is not enough for it. Just two pawns for no real compensation. And my rook on h7 now proved to be useful. So this should be over.
my root is coming for the attack and it's very very bad for white okay i don't want to to take this c and give this look more activity so i'm just gonna play b5 and open this c5 for my root which is deadly for white because root g2 is made all right, good game, good game. So let me try someone else. Out of coma. Huh. Good luck. Okay, let me try B3 again. Maybe I'm gonna try this in my next official tournament. This one, G4 doesn't look bad, right? H4. At least, okay. So suddenly, I have some attack here. I know it's not much. It's probably nothing special, but considering that I traded my bad bishop for last good bishop. I think it's a good achievement for me. So let's pass along here and try to attack. Maybe queen f4 or queen d2. Queen f4 should be fine. Queen a5, I go king d2. And then I have some e4 idea. Or h5. So it cannot be too bad for me. Now you guys can see we have that bishop on the long diagonal. It's not so easy for black here. I'm gonna go e4 now and put my knight on e4, which has to be very good for me. Then I can go h5. Okay, this has to be a mistake. Yeah, this blunder the exchange. Yeah, rook takes e5 instead of knight e5 was better. This he just lost the whole rook for no compensation. So, yeah, that was a quick win. But instead of queen e5, maybe black would have done something else. I don't know. I already liked my position at that time. But it was not too bad for black. Okay, let's try another game here. I'm white again, so let me go this nicely free. The new opening every game. Shadow mate, are you there? Probably not. I'm gonna abort this game and try another game. All right, so let's try. Now I'm black against Oran Industry. Oran, Oran Industry. Okay, anyway. Okay, what am I doing here? Is knight f6 the move? Probably is d5, d5. Okay. This is again some nonsense opening from me, but probably not too bad. So, what has the double pawns, but a slightly more active? 
So let's go Bishop B7 because I gave him the opportunity to double my my pawns with Bishop C6, but he didn't like that. So I'm not. I'm gonna keep my pawns for now intact. Can I play E5? E5, D, Knight five. E5, D, Knight E5, Knight E5, Bishop E5, Rook E5. No, sorry, Queen D8, Rook D8, Rook E5, Rook E5. I feel like it's okay. I feel like it's okay. But I have to, yeah, let's just play it. Whatever. You can take on C6. Bishop C6, Bishop C6, Knight E5, and maybe I have some compensation there. Yeah, I mean, why it takes so much time to think in bliss when you just when you can make a move and see what happens, right? But I think D5 is not a good move. It's not the most critical move from white. Because now I don't lose any pawns. I have a little better pieces. So should be an, an achievement for me. Let me go B6 here. So my knight can go back to B7 if necessary. I'll take B5 first. And then, actually, can I go e4? e4, 94, and then a6. Yeah, maybe that's better. So I'm trying to win the d5 pawn. That's my idea. Because if I play a6 first, it has queen d3. And then I would no longer be able to play e4. So now I'm going to play e4, knight move, then a6. And then we move with the five up upon. So everything is going according to plan. If there was ever a plan for me. So if queen e2, queen d5, looks like everything is good. Unless I'm missing something big, which I don't think I am. But I can play nice four too, right? Queen d5, bishop a5. I didn't like to double my pawns that way, so I try to be more ambitious, keeping the knight as well. So queen c6, I have knight e5, and the queen will have to go back again. So should be better for black here. Knight c6. Oh, I didn't see that move. Knight c6. What am I doing there? Yeah, knight c6. I thought I had queen d5, but then there's knight e7. So, anyway, let's go a5 here. And then maybe rook e8. Queen a7. Okay, queen a6, and I just take the pawn. Queen a7, I still take the pawn. Queen c7, I have rook b7, maybe. So anyway, I got a pawn up the up a pawn and still have great great play here. Okay, let's go rook d6. Got the pawn. And then maybe go king g7, so there's no funny 97 move. And now, maybe let's go bishop e5. Okay, two, two pawns should be winning here. Okay. Okay, which pawns should I take now? Let's go for, I don't know, the e pawn.
Okay, so I won the game on time, but it was also winning him. So good game, good game. All right, let's try another one. Clap again. Try this opening again. You guys should not be surprised if you see me playing some of these openings in the screening open. But then you guys should also not be surprised if I lose because those are not so great openings. But this is actually playable. Why is this a little bit better? Because of the space advantage, but it's still still playable for black. So I'm attacking the central pawns. It's not so easy for white to defend now. Maybe he should just play h3. Bishop e2 is not a good move because now I can take the knight and if bishop f3, I take the c4 pawn. If gf, that's terrible center for white. So let me just go rook e8, try to activate my pieces. Maybe I should play d5 at some point. Maybe d5 now. What about now? It's not a bad move, right? Because if c5, I go knight c4. And then bishop c4, dc. So, yeah, I'm attacking e3 now, and the bishop on e3 cannot move because then d4 hangs. But uh, yeah, now bishop c4 dc d4 is also under attack, so maybe he has to play d5, but then I go knight d4 and maybe knight d3. So, yeah, I'm considering better here. I'm very happy with my condition. So, I have maybe bishop c3 is a threat. Bishop c3, bc95, maybe that, but maybe also 93 first. I'm guessing if you play rook g1, I'm not going to take on c3 because then he may have some, some good play there. But um, if rook g1, I'm going to play 93 with the threat of bishop c3, bc25, but also threat rook e3, knight f2. So anyway, here I have a choice. I can go bishop e4, knight c2 with an exchange, which I think should be enough. But I can also take on d5, knight d5, to d5, bishop f6. That looks more drawish. I can also go knight d3, which I'm going to play, because it just looks more exciting here. I think. His, his queen is not going to do anything. And I have one kind of threat, like rook e1 was a threat there. Okay, knight e4, I can take b2 maybe. Uh, let me just go to d4, right? Let's go to d4. But actually, I like the b2 pawn, so let me take b2. Rook e1. I can even take a2, but I'm going to go back to d4. Just make sure that I got these central parts and that they're not gonna go anywhere. So, King G2 is not a good move. I will just take the pawn. Rook E4 is always there. Yeah, okay, I'm up on time, so I'm just gonna suck the rook. Yeah. In back, maybe take a pawn. 
I'm going to stick with on, why not? And then go back to D3. Go H6. Just do not let them make in one or two there. And I should be fine. Uh, I can trade the queens and win. But what's the where's the fun in that? So keep some check and flag him. Uh, it's just moving around a little bit just to keep him thinking. Okay, okay. So let's go, rook d8 maybe. Yeah, that's a strong attack. Let's go g6 maybe. And let's get the, well, he's not really threatening anything, does he? Yeah, so I will on time, but the position is totally winning anyway. So, good game. Okay, let's try another one. Should I play B3 again? What do you guys think? B3? Let's try B3. Okay, we should be two. This opening has been played very successfully by really strong players like Jubaka and Rafa. So it's not like something I I just invented. I don't invent these great openings. I just stone them from the great players. Yeah, you, if you're a good player, you don't have to invent new stuff. You can just steal them from other good players. So it's a serious opening. It's not something I need. No, it's not a, a disrespect to my opponent at all. It's very serious opening. So now you see it's like a normal, this is like a version of Grunfen or Queen's Gambit or, or Slav. It's more like Slav. But it's, it's a very serious opening. I didn't do anything too crazy. So let's go with CD. Maybe like, should I go knight a4? Don't really want to do that, but I want to trade off the that square bishop. So I think knight a4 is not a bad move. And then maybe bishop d5 here, right? Put in some pressure on c6. Should I take that knight now? Interesting, I think I should. And then maybe I go d3. Oh, let's go knight a4 first. And then d3. Keep the knight out and control c5. So I'm playing very, very, I would say, um, very positional chess. Let's go queen b2 and attack a5. Actually, that's a bad move. I should have played maybe knight d4 or knight c5 because now she can play c5. So she can play c5. I cannot take a5 yet because d3 is hanging. So look at one first, defending d3. I still like my position because a5 is gonna be difficult to defend. Bishop g4 is a good move. I have to allow bishop x3. Maybe I should have played h3 instead of rook f3 one. But it's okay. You can only do one thing. You cannot get everything you wanted. So 97 is a good move here. Okay, d4. Okay, I'm gonna take that one. 97 was better because it defends c5 and maybe the knight is getting to e5. So here I believe that white is better. I'm gonna go back to d2. 
depend my things, right? So should be much better for YPS. I am up to pounds, right? So that should be good for me. Okay. Interesting move. Let me take. And check and go to G2. It's playing very carefully now, not allowing her to do any counterplay. And then I should win slowly on the queen side. So she she sees that she has to create some counterplay. Let me go to C1. Okay, that move allows me to create a wins and it should be a win for me easily. Okay, good game, good game. Okay, another opponent. So let me try something else now, otherwise I'm a boring guy with B3. So let me try E4 or D4. So the other day, someone asked me if I have ever played Nancy Free here on the second move. And I think I said that I didn't play it as far as I could remember. So now today I decided to use it Nancy Free on the second move, like in the London system, but Nancy Free. I don't consider it to be a particularly good way to play, but it is not bad. Not too bad. So I will following some games here. I think we are. So G4 is not really a scary move, but it's the unusual when he's trying to play very aggressively on the king side early on. And that should be okay. But what about this move? C5. Should I take it? Let me just go knight 3 I could have taken on C5, but I don't want to, I don't want to be too pretty there. Okay, maybe it's time to be pretty. I don't know. I don't know. I could have done that, but let's just play principal chess to g5, h4, maybe try to attack there. Maybe h4, h5. Hmm, interesting move. So I should retreat with my queen. So if fg, I have knight g5. Okay, so she closed the king side now. Okay, let's put the bishop on g2. I'm not sure which side I want to castle yet. Maybe the king side, because I don't want to be to take too much risk there on the queen side. The attack can come really strong, so I don't want to castle queen side. So I want 92, control F4, everything solid. And then, and then maybe castle king side, put the knight in F4. I think CD was a positional mistake from her because now I can castle queen side again. If she still had that pawn on C5, maybe she could play C4, B5 very quickly. But now without that C5 pawn, it's, it's harder for black to do generate any kind of play on the queen side and my king is relatively safe there i can go to e1 and e1 and 4 attack e6 
and this is position on the very back of life. Like my F4 is coming and then E6 is very weak. I might also have some H5, D6, F6 idea. So this is already a terrible position for black. Okay, now D4 is not doing anything. So A3 and then I have to go back. And then just rook e1, prophylactic move. Not doing anything special. But it's probably enough. Let's go knight f4. Instead of knight e7, she could have played knight a5, knight c4. Maybe that was the only active idea in that position. Because now it's just terrible. 98 is the only move to be 56. But yeah, I don't think anyone could, would like to play this position. All right, so G6 maybe? G6 H6. No, still not so easy. Let me go knight e5. Yeah, the problem for black is that the pieces are not coordinating well with each other. Okay, I can take d7 and take e6. I can take with a rook. Ah, oh, nice, but the rook is fine. And then 58 to see through. And everything is falling. Just double rook. Ah, uh, just double the rooks, I guess. I might have something even better, like 95. Maybe even better. Yeah, so I'm just up many pounds, and this should be easily winning for me. All right, all right, good game. Good game. So let me try another one. Maybe Alakai defense again. It's not a not a bad opening. Maybe one day I'll do chess cost on this opening. I don't know, but I mean generally it's not a reliable opening at the top level. But for online, I think it's very playable. Okay, how do I want to develop my pieces? Let's go nice and fix. I think the best way for what is to go d3, not d4. And then maybe rook b1, c4. Okay, d4 is not good because now I got control of the c4 square. I'll go rook b8, b6, bishop b7, trade the last four bishops. It's a very positional idea. Okay, should I go bishop f5? Yeah, actually bishop f5 is good. Queen has to go back to b1. And then maybe I'll go c5 or e5. Bishop e4 is not good because I just take a pawn. 
and then what about pound pound? No real compensation. Okay, this fact is strange. Yeah, that's too much for white. He doesn't have any compensation here. So, yeah, positionally, it's also better for black. Better pawn structure, safer king. Ninety five is the only move. Okay. Ninety five was the only move to create something, but now it's too late. Now there's no chance. Okay, is he trying to make me somehow on the H5? Not really. Like Bishop G5 exit to H1 or something, but it doesn't work. All right, let me try. Okay, and you. Yeah, I think it has been here from the beginning. So I'm gonna go with Anders. Ada, how do I say your name? Okay, D4, anyway. Let's go Queen's Gambit. We have all been familiar with the Queen's Gambit movie. So, okay, he doesn't allow me to go for the Queen's Gambit. So he's playing the London against me. What am I supposed to do to nice six? I think. And then c4, bishop f5. So it's not much here, the right equal. Not much here. Can I go knight b4? Knight b4. CD, C2, Queen A3, Bishop B4, Queen A4. Let's go for that. Looks fun. I have no idea if it was or not, but it looks fun. So, CB, C2, if Queen B1 replaced B2, get back to Knight. If Queen A3, Bishop B4, Queen A4. And we have knight e4, should be able to get back to knight soon. Okay, so he allows knight e3, which I should do, I think. So I got a bishop pair, which is not bad. I'll take the bishop pair. Knight e5 is coming down, so it's not entirely clear, but I guess. That's the best I can hope for. So now if I, I'm thinking where to go with my bishop, maybe to h7. Oh, queen a2 is just a mistake. Then there's a pawn of c3. Now if I was much better there, and I don't know where I should go with the bishop because if bishop b5, white has c4. Okay, this is just great for black. C2 and should be winning here. Queen A1, yeah, he's still fighting well. Let's go Bishop B4. I'm not threatening anything, but just putting some pressure on the knight on B2. Bishop E2. Looks good. Rook C1 is on the move. 
of the disciplines they stretch back. Look, C1 was on the move. Yeah, now F2 is also weak. And I'm still up upon and the strange of this is totally winning back. Take the pawn. Let's take the pawn. Yeah, white has no compensation at all. Take another pawn. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? How can you say queen d1, queen f1, or queen f3 is coming? Check, queen f3. The only thing there is not to remove queen f3 because otherwise white can play knight e1 and remove queen f3 to lose the game. But yeah, anyway, nice game. I think you missed this rook c3, which is really unfortunate. You could have played like knight e5 there and white was okay. So let's try another one. From white again. So let's make the band of this today about B3. So from now on, when I'm white, I'm going to play B3, and when I'm black, I'm going to play B6. Okay, what is this opening? Control the center. Oh, now I cannot play G4. But maybe I can play knight e5. So it's not much, but having double plus pawns is also something for white. So I think it is a little bit better for white here. Probably not much, nothing special, but it's still nice to have. Okay, A4. A5 doesn't really benefit black because that will be a target for white to attack in, in the future. So we can go. Maybe e5. I'm going to play h3 very soon. And yeah, let's take this. Maybe go f4. Maybe I should play e4. Let's prepare for e4. Okay, let's go e4. So we're trying to attack on the king side. Now the a5 pawn is really a target for me to attack. If he didn't play a5, then it would probably be not losing that pawn. But here, this is pretty bad, black, I think. OK. I have to prevent black from playing e5, so I'm going to put my queen here, and oh, rook d4 looks nice, forcing queen e6, then rook e1, so queen has to go back to f7, and then rook d7, winning some more pawns, and we all love pawns, right, so try to get some more pawns, rook c7, rook c6, Everything's good. Okay, that's another big mistake. So, 
that is losing the root and another one. So totally winning for white. Let's activate the team. Be a classical player. Okay. It's end game. We have to activate the team. All right. So let's try someone else. Wow, Anish Giri has challenged me. Wow, I'm gonna I'm gonna accept his his challenge. Oh, that's uh, wait, where is he? I just found him here. Oh, he's here. All right, so Anish, let's play. I'm gonna gonna be a very tough game here. Yeah? Are you there? Okay, so it looks like Anish left. Yeah, I didn't see his, his challenge before, but uh, I guess we will have to play another time. Okay, so I'm gonna abort this game and play someone else. All right, so B3 again. Yeah, sorry, Anish, I didn't see your challenge. There were too many challenges and I, I didn't see your turns until now. So, but I'm gonna do some more banter list in the future. So feel free to challenge me the next time. I'll be happy to play. Okay, this one year land is also not here. So I'm gonna abort this and try another opponent. Oh, someone put a, a picture of Beth Hammond. So let's go for this. Let's see if I'm playing bet. So I'm gonna play B, I play B6, as I said, but obviously for black, it's probably not a very good opening. First, gray of sun. What does that mean? First gray of sun. Yeah, anyway, Beth is a really strong and talented player. Okay, this is similar to, to the last game, the previous game when I played this for black. Should I play C5? C5, probably not a bad move, but let me cast over. Okay, I should take the bishop and go C5. Okay, should I go f5? Maybe I should. Because the king side looks like it can be dangerous for me. So f5 is, is a move to close up. 
inside are open on my screen. So, yeah, I don't think I did it. I don't think I played this well. Bishop b5 can be annoying. Okay, he didn't play that, so I'm gonna go for c4. And maybe bishop c6. Trying to get a bishop to a4, but also maybe e5. So I think I'm fine here to straight everything. And I have a little bit better pawn structure. Rook e1. Okay, let's go rook e4. Maybe rook e4 is not a bad. No, sorry, it's just blunder something. Blunder pawn. So this is not much, just equal, I guess. Let's trade the rook. So Beth is playing really well. Yeah, I wanted to bring my king over. But Everything is defended for white. Can I go bishop e4? Probably not. Yeah, I don't see a way to make any progress here. Can I go bishop e4? Yeah. Now I get this b4 and king b4, which is not bad. And c3, king c4. So suddenly I'm winning again. But yeah, white could have defended much better. Okay, good game, good game. I almost made a draw with Beth, but I managed to trick my opponent at the end. Okay, I'm gonna play Anish. Anish, if you're still there, I'm gonna play you now. Let's go, man. Let's go, let's go, B3. So I'm gonna take this game seriously and try to play faster. So Anish is doing really well here, of course. No problem for both sides.
Should I play B4? Maybe I should play A4. And then eventually try to play B4 at some point. Let me try this and try to play B4. So he's preparing to play to play G5. Did I miss something? Rook A4, bishop E7. Rook C4, bishop B8, rook D8, rook B7 should be good for white. Uh, at least not bad for white. Let's go A5. I got to be careful of this knight f2 or knight g3. Let's go knight e5. Oh, I missed that. That was terrible. I missed that move. Queen c5, rook a5, rook b7, queen b7. That is very bad. Let's go back. Let's see three, maybe. Let's see four. What about d5? d5 queen f6. That's not good. Yeah, Anish is doing great. I forgot about this 96. I should have played some. Something else. Okay, I think I should be fine now. The only problem is that I'm very low on time. Oops. Okay, that's same way. Okay. Oh my god, that's my bad. My bad. Good game, man. It's good save. Yeah, I could have played. Yeah, I forgot about the same way. I assume that he played King Six, and I almost removed H five. Good game, man. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Maybe we should do it another time. So I'm gonna try some other opponents now. Good game. He blundered this group A7. Oh, I was supposed to play B6. I played B5 too quickly. Okay, I'll do B6 now. Well, it's not a bad opening. It's still playable.
So Y's idea here is normally to play E5, Knight F1, Bishop F4, try to attack on the King Frank. And last idea is, I don't know. Maybe I should take the E, the A, try to open up the center. Let's go 95. Interesting. So White's Queen is going to G4 for sure. Problem is, how, I, how am I going to do to play after that? So I'm thinking Queen C8 to put my bishop on A6 and go to D3 and maybe to F5. So let's go F6. I don't think why should have taken on E7. Normally, why's plan is to keep that that square bishop and try to attack my pawn. So the knight is coming to C4, I guess. Difficult, what to do here? Let's go bishop a6. Yeah, I'm not sure why I play that move. So let's just put a bishop on b3 and think. Maybe my queen will go to b8. Okay, let's go from d8. And now I have some stress like knight e5. Can I take knight e5? No, because, no, actually, why not? Knight e5, no, knight e5, knight e5, and my bishop is thinking. Okay, let's go back here. Actually, why didn't I play b5, c4? b5. Yeah, that was bad. Okay, but I have 95 threat now, so maybe, maybe it's not too stupid. But first I want to play h5, so to secure my bishop on g6. Now g5, maybe I have 95. That's a strange move. So now I think I'm better because next move I'm going to take on f3 and 95. And I'm gonna win this game. Rook e5, uh, rook e6, wins black. Rook e1 is on the move, but then I can take, maybe I'll go rook e8. Um, I mean, there are too many good moves here. Too many good moves here. I don't know what to do. Yeah, just too many good moves. So, um, again, so difficult to decide what to do. But I guess I can put my knight on e5, maybe rook to h8. Maybe actually, why is doing not bad here at all? Not bad, not bad. So what am I doing here? Maybe nice. I don't like magic six. Oh, I didn't realize I was low on time. Okay, but fortunately, why is Blender that?
Yeah, so I want to give Okay, last time when I niche play the banter, I'll challenge him. He's a great player. So let me try someone else. Okay, so I am playing Peter Zia. Is that a Fisher picture? I think it is. So let's go. I think I have a similar opening a couple of games ago. And how did that game go? Oh, it was almost a draw, but then I tricked my opponent. Oh, that was against Beth? Yeah, Beth, Beth. Oh, so now I play Fisher. So they are at the same time, right? They live in the 19, 1960, 1950, 1960. Okay, let's go. Should I play H6? Maybe I don't need that. Maybe I don't need that. I need just go back here. I want to play X6, but is that too much? Is that too much? So if I take, if I go X6 here, here, probably not too bad. Why not? Right? Bishop x6 to x7, and I'm trying to claim that I will have some attack on the g5, and that should compensate for my slightly weakened king. Okay, let's go king h8, or oh, maybe queen e8. Let's go queen e8. So get out of the pin, and then maybe queen h5. Maybe queen h5, maybe queen g6. Bishop g3. Should I play f5 now? f5. Yeah, I like f5. Why not f5? Threatening f4. So why has it like, oh, that's a big mistake. Because of mate in one. This is like a tactic friendly stuff. You can see. Okay, good game, good game. All right, let's try. Let's see if I have any challenge from the title players. Any grandmasters out there? No, Anish was the only grandmaster who challenged me. Yay, Anish. You should play me in every band at least I play. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna play with Batman. I think he has been here a long time too. Let's go, let's go. I'm going to remove b6. And bishop b7. OK. Let's go c5. This is probably another nonsense opening. But what can you do? Let's go d5. So it's actually not too bad here. Black is a very decent position. E5, E4. Or ED, 95. That is OK. No matter what.
Let's go Queen's G8. Is that a good move? Queen's G8. No, let's just pass. And maybe F6. Control the G5 square so he doesn't have bishop E4 and magic five. And then I can go on maybe seven. Rook C8. Okay, I have to take this two now. And then we see it. I see I'm fine. I think that is completely fine here. Although maybe white is a little bit better, not too much. Not too much. Okay, let me go finish four. Trying to attack before. With knight f3, I'm going back to e7. So the knight is, yeah, I, I don't mind the knight on f3. I was more worried about it coming to e4 or c4. So this is okay. Like, queen b2 is a decent move because he didn't want to allow bishop a3. But at the same time, he allows me to check on f3, which I'm not sure it's that great for white. So I'm gonna take that, take f3, go to g5, win f4 maybe. I don't know, maybe win f4 is good. Attack f3, forcing white to go queen e2, and then maybe I'll go rook c7 and try to double the rooks. Anyway, um, bishop e2 is a good move. So I got rook e8, preparing for knight f8, knight g6. So the knight is more useful on the king side to defend the king. And yeah, here yeah, I think black is already fine. Actually, knight f8 was a bad move. I could have played. Rook C2 then. Rook C2 was much better. Okay, but I got Rook C2 now anyway. Bishop D3, did I miss that one? No way. I don't think. Well, I missed that, but it was not that important because I have Rook C3. So at least you cannot trade the bishop for my knight, and my knight will be perfectly placed on f4. Yeah, the knight is perfect there. Maybe I'll go f5, no? f5, f5 here, and then another pawn to f5. Do I have f5, f5 bishop? Oh my god, that's bad. f5 bishop. Uh, ED, Bishop E5, 95. That's kind of brownish, I think. Let me go King F7. In this six, I go King E8. DE, I activated my King and I got the pawn. Yeah, it was very difficult for white to defend them. Bishop B1 was a mistake. Why well, should have played something like Bishop B7 or maybe H4? But it was difficult. Good game, Batman. You play a very decent game. Okay, so let me see. Let me see, I'm trying to play different people. So, okay, let's try this game. I'm black now, again, then B6. B6, 
it should be seven. This is a very bad opening for black actually, but today I have not seen any players who managed to prove that I got a much worse position. So I will just keep playing it until, until I'm actually worse. But for now, it, it looks okay. Nine H3, wow, what a move. Wow, can I take on G2? Bishop G2, what is going on here? Bishop G2, what is going on here? I can take, right? Let's take. Yeah, Bishop H1, F G. Okay, he doesn't take, but. Oh. Yeah, I missed this Queen F3 move. Oh, actually, I could have played something like. I could have played something like. Um, yeah, that was terrible. I could have played something like ninety five instead of ninety six. This is terrible. But I'm not losing. Don't worry. Bishop F five. I have ninety four. So I'm not losing. Actually, I think I'm still better. Maybe not, but it's good to be confident, you know? So I think it's okay. Bishop f5, I have 94 and 95. So I thought Bishop b, Bishop e3 was the best move there. Uh, maybe I was too confident. Let me see. Knight five, queen f seven, king e seven is the only move. But it should be now. Maybe take on c three first and then go king e seven. It's not too bad. Yes. Okay, I'll finish this game and maybe one more game and then I'll go. Okay, so my king is very safe here. I'm gonna go king d7 and maybe queen h4 or queen f6. And then I got, I got the g7 pawn and it should be winning for black. Okay, so I take the seven and then group G1, group H8 seems really good. Group H2, my king is very safe. Check. And maybe queen H4. Double attack at two and c4. So those little tactics here. Okay, let's just take it on. It's just some little tactics. Is queen b5 a threat? Mm, not really. Not really. Uh, but I'm. I don't want to allow any counterplay. So I'm gonna go to b4. Maybe queen a4. Yeah, maybe queen a4 first was my threat. But it doesn't matter. It's just uh, completely winning for black here. Just have to be careful and not allow, not allowing any strange tactics. My king is very safe. Let's go knight d4 maybe. Yeah, I'm threatening group F1 and group C4, maybe. Okay, good game, good game. All right, so let me try one last game here before I go. One last game for today. So let me see. 
Let me see. Okay, I'm gonna play with the chess puzzle, Philippine. Is that Philippines or anyway? Okay, I'm black and I'm gonna play B6. Yeah, the pawn structure is now not too bad. It's actually a slight improvement over the Queen's Indian defense now because I got F5 before I could before I put my knight to F6. So I got better control of the center. Okay, if I play D6 now, maybe he's gonna play C5, but I'm gonna allow that anyway. So he can play C5. Okay, he did not. I'm gonna go knight E4 trying to attack on the king side with rook f6, rook g6 maybe, uh, rook h6. Okay, what am I doing here? Knight g5. Let's go rook h6. Seems like a good way to attack. Knight e4 and fe, bishop e4, queen h4. Has to be pretty good for black. F4 is only move here. F4, otherwise, yeah, that's just lost. Okay, I can take H2, it's making one. Um, but I'll keep the game going for a little bit more. So up a piece, but it's not made yet. Okay, I'm getting the C4 on. So I'm just enjoying my, my time here so much, I'm trying to prolong this session. Okay, ED. Maybe get that D5 on. Okay, let's take that on. I can play B5 too. Let's go B5. Okay, let's go to H5 and get that B5 on. So I'm threatening 93, 93. Too many threats here. Again, 93 with the rook immediately, but I'll give him some more chances. I'm going to pick H2. Go back here. Actually, I think I'm gonna try to give him a rook and maybe try to win being, uh, try to win being, well, wow, he took my knight. I don't want to take that rook. I'm gonna go a5. Okay, I'm gonna go rook a. Threatening to be two. This should be an easy win. Go rook e2. Yeah, being up to many pawns should be relatively easy to win here. Yeah, no chance for white. No rook up there. Okay, I'm gonna give him my rook. Yeah, with four pawns on the queen side, it's gonna be very easy to win. Just push them, push them on the way. Yeah, keep playing, keep playing. Please do not resign. Keep playing. All my pawns are advancing. Let's go back here. Let's go B4. 
Let's do ping descent first. Make sure that my thing will get to the queen side. Maybe play d3. Okay. C4. My, I love my pawns. My pawns are very strong. C3. Oh, my opponent got disconnected. Okay. So. Good day today. Thank you everyone for watching. I think it was a very entertaining this session for me too. So I'll look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thank you all.